I'm Murray Smith here, um, Harbour representative for the kind of borders, South Lanarkshire and Lothians area. Uh, I'm here with uh, David McTaggart at Hall Rule Farm uh, down near Jedburgh, and today we're just going to speak to David about uh, kind of Maximon and how he's utilised it in his diet the last couple of years. I'm currently farming about 1,550 acres, mixed farm. At the moment we're farming uh, 70 suckler cows and taking everything through to finish. Um, what, 1,500 Romney ewes, all lambing outside um, end of April, May onwards on an easy care system. We We've also got approximately 200 acres of cereals, part of which is, is kept here for some feed, feeding and the rest is sold for uh, malting barley. And the final part of the enterprise which came a couple of years ago was we put on a deer herd and this year we're now calving a 285 hinds and they are very much an easy care system as well. So David, that's been about six years you've been using Maximon now. Um, how do you feel it's kind of been going for you uh, the last few years and how's it kind of fitting in with your diet and cattle performance? Yes, Murray, I've actually, I've actually enjoyed using Maximum for the last few years. I'm not reliant on buying in feeding from it elsewhere. It's given me a consistent product now every year that I know exactly what I'm producing and by trying to just have it, have the maximum there at 20%, um, just as meaning that uh, the cattle seem to be enjoying it as well, compared to some of the other systems I've used in the past. Basically, not having to buy too much other protein in onto the farm. Maximising homegrown products. Yeah. 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 And then. In regards to physical quality of the maximum treated cereal, are you quite happy? Does it roll nice? I think uh, you, to start with, you keep an eye on the man that's doing the rolling, um, that he doesn't over roll it and make it too dusty. But and you don't don't want to be trying to get any grain at 16% because that in turn will make it too dusty. And I think if you can keep the grain to sort of the the 18, 19%, maybe 20, um, it gives a nice roll. Uh, you only need to split the grain rather than roll it hard uh, so that the, the rumen can get into the grain and from that point of view I find it a very good product. Good, good. And then when the cattle are getting fed the maximum treat cereal, quite happy with how content they are, they tune the cud lying down, quite content. Yeah, Murray, uh, they, they, they are very, very content. Um, yeah, the, in the mornings they're obviously all wanting in for the breakfast, but it doesn't take long for them just to go away and lie down and um, chew their cud and be very settled. This year uh, you tried Beef Max with the, the Rumi Tech in it, along with the, the Maximon. How successful do you think that's been? Has that kind of worked in? What, what kind of results have you seen in performance wise for the cattle? I think the, the results of that uh, started coming very evident quite early in the winter um, and just how fast and how well cattle were, were thriving. Um, and certainly we started selling cattle um, some six weeks quicker than we normally do and through that um, we ended up as an average for the, the the batch of cattle, we had 59 cattle inside um, on, on the, the Rumatech and yeah, they, on an average the whole batch finished 51 days quicker than they did last year. That's excellent, that's fantastic, that result 51 days quicker. Um, what financial cost would you put on per head? The financial gain per head, excluding straw for bedding, um, would be about £56 per head um, out of that group. Um, so yeah, it's, it was quite a staggering difference. And from there, um, it allowed me um, a surplus of silage this year. And the way the spring's actually been has been absolutely tremendous um, to have that sur surplus. But it's also allowed me to, to go and sell kind of another few hundred bales of straw. I'm delighted that you know we've been able to kind of achieve this 
with you, David, and I hope you're you're happy with the, the service and the, the products that you're using and the what we're kind of trying to achieve with you uh, in regards to efficiency and making the cattle pay as best we can. It's certainly helping, and um, it's just means I'm more uh, resilient at keeping my own protein at home and not having to buy um, other protein in from, from elsewhere.